part two of our extreme bench rest visit. The competition is split into three main categories, the 25 meter bench rest, speed silhouette shoot and the 75 yard extreme bench rest. Looking first at the 25 meters, each shooter gets three cards at 25 meters with 20 minutes to shoot each card. The bench positions are chosen at random. So in total, it's one hour to shoot three cards with 25 bullseyes on each card in a good strong gusting wind mind. The rifles can be up to 35 foot pounds and they're each chronoed and checked before you can enter the shoot. Many well-known faces have arrived to take part with the three times world field target champion, Nick Jenkinson being one of them. Tony Bilas got the chance to grab a quick word with him. Well, Nick, nice to see you again. And it's you? been, what, a thousand years since we last met? Yeah, a thousand miles. No, several <laughs> thousand miles, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while, though. It's nice yeah, to see it you is. again. And yeah, you? Uh, We are contemporaries. We've been uh, shooting in field target for, well, 20 Does years. Does that mean long in the tooth? Well, it can do, but we, I choose not it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, no, it's, uh, we start, I started off in field target in 87, and you were already well established and yeah. champion at that point. Um, I would say yes, but yeah. you know, don't ask me to uh, give you details. On that. <laughs> right. I won I won some local matches. I was very lucky at, at my local matches. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, we've come a long way since then. The sport has we matured have. and... Yes, very different now, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. But for most of that time, you were, of course, uh, shooting air arms. So I the was. Team, team captain yep. and basically their number one shot for decades. Thank you, yeah, no. And, uh, but your background is electronics, I understand. It was electronics. When I left school, I did uh, electronics apprenticeship. Right, and, yeah. And uh, I didn't keep it up. I, to be honest, the thing with working in a factory didn't appeal to me. I preferred the outdoors. Right. So, um, you know, that my career changed and I had a, a passion for customising cars and stuff. So I've done several jobs. Um, as you know, the, the, my air rifle stuff has, has been the, the recent thing. Yes. Uh, telescopic sights and stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, Electronics, I can appreciate what you've got in the gun. If that's, well, I was where going, going. that's where I was going. I mean, <coughs> yeah. you've, obviously, you've not had really much to do with the electronics of the guns, and today you shot one for the first well, the first time? Or? Well, not the first uh, time, but yeah. the, that's the first time I've shot a competition yes. with a Daystate rifle. And right. I, I have to say, you know, an Air Arms uh, you know, would accept this as well. Yes. It's a lovely gun, and it yeah. shot. I think it shot well. I don't know my score yet. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not uh, expecting to win anything, but fantastic gun. I can't blame the gun. Thank you ever so much for bringing it over and letting me use it. Well, we're just delighted to see you with a dace in your hand and it made the trip <laughs> worthwhile. Yeah. Uh, you got some photos as well. Oh, we've got thousands. Okay, sorry. I'm going to need a few of those. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Back to the shooting. It's not an easy task at all. With the desert wind gusting and quality of shooters very high, the pressure is really on. Plus it's warm, very warm and very little shade. It's not just 25 shots on each card, you are allowed sighters, which means you can shoot to the side of the targets to test the wind and conditions. But be careful, not too many sighters, as you may only re-air your gun at the end of each 20 minute heat. While the shooting's going on, I catch up with a couple of gentlemen who are very excited to be here. Starting off with, we've got Miles. Yep. How do you do, Jeff? Good to meet you, good to meet you. And we've got Fred. Yes, Sioux City, Iowa. I, oh right, okay, Iowa, fantastic. So how long has it taken you to get here? Well, we came in by plane. It took us all probably about uh, five hours to get here by plane. Okay. And um, had a great time, you know, we're learning a lot, seeing a lot of great shooting today and yeah. um, quality rifles. Um, we shoot uh, all the day states and the, they're just incredible guns. And, yeah. Uh, that's what we simply uh, latch on our tags to is the day state rifles fantastic so so weather's weather's pretty good and how about yourself oh i think it's great here it's yeah great it's kind of strange it was this morning here it was kind of cool you can have a jacket on right yeah. now you could take it in a t-shirt and you'd feel just great that's it but it is great weather and we're having a good time a lot of nice people here yeah. and we can't say enough about the day state fantastic that is one of the nicest rifles on the market yeah agreed yeah. agreed on so you're, you're you're are you who's shooting today <laughs> i'm shooting you're shooting yeah. and yeah. what are you shooting oh i'm shooting the air wolf yeah and um it's a 22 caliper okay it's a outstanding rifle um i probably got 15,000 rounds through it really never have done anything to it other than you know just like your favorite coffee table or end table 
uh, all that beautiful walnut, just keep it treated and keep it clean. It's yeah. going to last you for years, last your lifetime. Brilliant. And do we, we don't know our scores yet, actually, do we? Our <laughs> no, scores we aren't out yet. We don't know what the scores No, are. we're all stood waiting for our scores. So, but how, how do you think you did? Were you confident? I, yeah, I'm confident. I think I've done real well with it. Uh, any, any mistakes were done, it wasn't the rifle, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know that feeling, I have to admit. I'm shooting the, 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 the Airwolf as well, so, but, you know, fingers crossed, it is it is windy from time to time. Yeah, yeah. it is windy out here today. Yeah, and we, we first met, actually, didn't we, met first in the Egan store, yeah. Egan's of Arizona. What day was that? Was that Thursday? Uh, yeah, it was a thir Thursday, wasn't Thursday, it? Thursday, I think, yeah, I think it was Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday yeah. we flew in there, we, met, we all met there. Yeah. yeah, so do you normally shop there? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything. I get all my ammunition there. I get everything there. My guns are there. Uh, they get them on time to me. If I want them overnighted, they get the stuff to me. Yeah. Uh, everybody I've met there has been just great. That's why I, bu I buy all my equipment there. Fantastic. So I, I will say, Fred was just a little bit nervous about the guns, though, because really? the guns were shipped here, and we got here before the guns got here. <laughs> so he was a little nervous, but he calmed down after he saw them. Yeah. So, but you, you, after seeing the guns delivered down there at Air Guns of Arizona, then yeah. I felt better. I felt you were happy. Better. Yeah, I felt like a guy had lost his dog. <laughs> oh no! Oh. My guns weren't back yet. You were, yeah. <laughs> and do you have to you have to ship them back, or can you? fly them back. Oh, I want to ship them back. You ship them yeah, back. Yeah, ship them back. Yeah. Okay. A lot of it just seems like the airlines, you know, they they're just a little leery of them. There's no reason to be, but they are. Sure. You know, sure. and uh, but plan on making this a yearly event. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think this is their third or fourth year as well. Mm -hmm. third, third year, I think. Third, third year. year. And yeah. some of the shooters, they got world tournament shooters here. Yeah. Two-time world champions here. Yeah. Um, Venezuela's here with their team. It's amazing. Uh, You've actually got this na national team here, aren't you? Yeah. 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 So we might see you next year if we come next year. Absolutely. Next year. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and maybe shoot just a little better. A little better. <laughs> no, no. You've, sh you've, you've shot top this time round. Yeah. So listen, maybe we're going to see you on the podium okay. a little bit later, celebrating. Someone's going to walk straight through the camera, if you see that there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, lovely to meet you. Nice lovely to meet you. Meet you. Nice. And you'll be on YouTube nice. later. Yeah. Thanks yeah. very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, to the results. We shot on Saturday, but did not get the results until Sunday afternoon. So everyone had a nail-biting Saturday night. The Brits with day stakes were all over the high scores, with Tony Bilas 11th, Nick Jenkinson 7th, and Andrew Huggett 5th. Other day states finished higher with American shooters. I must take my hat off to all the shooters of all rifles who finished higher. They have clearly mastered the wind and the art of floating the lead through the absolute centre of the target. Well done everyone. The scoring is recorded by the Orion scoring system. So no more human counting, it's all scanned into a computer. I came 27th out of 39 shooters in my class, which was not as high as I would have liked, but this was my first ever shooting competition, and I may have picked one of the most extreme in the world for the first attempt. One gust of wind and you're out of the game, and that's just what I got. Still to come in episode three, the amazing silhouette shoot, which is not to be missed, and the 75 yard extreme bench rest. Mm -hmm.